To begin, plug in the power to the apparatus, and then you'll plug in the analog cables into the pressure, volume, and temperature. Now we will plug the cables into the 850 apparatus, plugging in pressure into port A, temperature into port B, and volume into port C. In capstone, we need to go under hardware setup and set up each of the voltage sensors. Even though these are pressure, volume, and temperature, each one is measuring a voltage. So capstone needs to be set to measure voltage sensors. An easy way to find your sensor is to simply type it into the text box as seen here. From here we'll go ahead and set up a graph. And since we have three measurements, we will go ahead and set up three graphs with common times. And we'll click Select Measurement, do Voltage A on the first one, Voltage B on the second, and Voltage C on the third. We also need to change the sample rate. We want to use a common rate, and 1,000 hertz is recommended. So from here, we can go ahead and record some sample data. So this is just me pulling up and pushing down on the cylinder. And as you can see, we are recording voltage. To make this more useful though, we would like to record pressure, volume, and temperature. So we're going to need to use the calculator. On the side of the apparatus, we have a calibration card, in this case, pressure. And we'll just go ahead and enter that into the calculator. Press the left square bracket to get the menu for voltage. And since this is pressure, we're using voltage A. And the units are kilopascals in this case. And then repeat this process for temperature and volume, also using the measurements shown on the calibration card on the side of your apparatus. These might not necessarily match what uh, you see on my screen. And from here, we can go ahead and click on the voltage measurement and choose pressure instead. The second one corresponds with temperature, and the last one corresponds with volume.